So you can see how I got, you can see the rust. And I'm just smoothing the rust down. And some people like that dripping look. But you, when you see what I do after this, you'll understand why I wash it off. Welcome to Driver Mod TV, guys. Today we're gonna do uh, some patina mod. I'm gonna show you guys how I take care of the patina on the Thunder Wagon. Just by behind me here. So we're got the Thunder Wagon being rewired right now. So we'll show you more of that. But um, so a lot of these jokers, they go and they pay lots of money to make their car look like it's got patina. And uh, mine, I didn't have to pay for. Mine came natural. The Mother Nature delivered my patina. And uh, I like to maintain it. And the car's been sitting outside for a little while. Uh, Sean's car over here has been taking the place in the Thunder Garage. And so, uh, the patina's gotten a little, uh, it added a little more character to it, but I'm gonna show you how I take care of the patina. And, uh, you know, you, know, you get, get these guys like um, the, the Killer Cab and Swamp Thing and Gringo all went and painted or had wraps put on to fake their patina. It's fake news. It's fake news, man. My patina, it came with the car, but I made it look better. And how I make it look better is the first thing I do is I take some mineral spirits and I take a 3M pad and I scuff all this beautiful rust. You can see all the rust all around the car here. See it where it's been rusting and growing and, and fermenting like a fine wine. And so what I do is I take a 3M pad, which I gotta go to the auto parts store and pick up some. So we're gonna pick one of these things, one of these projects here at the, the Casa to ride over to the hardware store and uh, go get some 3M pads. And I'll come back and I'll show you how I do the patina. And what, do we sh what should we take? Let's see here. Well, the sailing clone's not running yet. We could take the Jeep Wagoneer. The Nova's not quite done yet. The S10 is not done. We got the pickup truck. I think we'll take the Harley. Let's take the Harley. And do it for you. Yep, that's it. Is my phone number for you? Okay, custom fish.
right, so I got my metal spirits. I got my Master Pro finishing. Call it Scotch Bright, but same thing. I'm going to show you how we take care of this patina. So we take a, one of these pads. I like to fold it in half. Just pour some mineral spirits out. So you can see how I got, you can see the rust and I'm just smoothing the rust down. And some people like that dripping look, but you, when you see what I do after this, you'll understand why I wash it off. I just take a regular garden hose. Get the kinks out of the damn hose. Come on. Damn it. Okay. Maybe I can feel it. Probably could use a little bit more right in here. We got a lot of extra rust sitting outside. Not many cars that you can take a Scotch Bright to and make them look better. Which can the Thunder Wagon. Alright, still got some rust here. Water works too. I like to use, start off with the mineral spirits. Now we're gonna go and do the roof, the quarters. We have the TBM brakes, bad to the bone. We'll do the tailgate. I don't have to do the hood anymore because it doesn't have any metal in it. We'll come over here and do this side. But what I'm going to do first is show you the next step of the process. All right, as you can see, I got a smooth bare metal surface that's got a color to it that's not metal it's dark but it's smooth to the touch and then i buffed 
and brought the green back to the, the, the original paint. And you can see the difference here, right? But the secret sauce in all this is this Gibbs brand oil. This is the most amazing penetrant oil on the planet. And I'll show you why. Not only does it break bolts and stuff loose, but you can recondition stuff. So what I do now is I just take this Gibbs brand oil and I spray it on the car. Liberally spray it on the car. And then I'll take a shop rag or a microfiber towel or something. So I take this microfiber towel and wipe it down. Now, you see the difference? I'm gonna do the whole car like that. When you stand back and you look, it's got a sheen to it like it's been clear coated. But I don't have to, I didn't pay for a clear coat and it's never gonna look cracked and ugly like a clear coat. And that's how you create patina and maintain it. In two days, we'll come back out here. There will be no residue of oil on this car. It'll have penetrated the pores. And for months, it'll stay looking glossy like that. All right, Merry Christmas, y'all. Had a good Christmas here in uh, Texas. And uh, beautiful day out. I'm in shorts, like 80 degrees out. And uh, gonna take some time here and uh, show you the last application of the Gibbs brand oil right here. This stuff is amazing. Check it out, Gibbs brand oil. And I'm gonna show you how I take and make my patina look good. We've already shown you how we buff it, how we scuff it and then buff it. And uh, just just like a big girl, you gotta take care of her. You gotta take care of your women. And sometimes they get a little, they get a little chalky. They get a little dried out. They need some lotion. They need a good rub down. Well, my girl needs some lotion here. And so, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna take care of that right now. I'm gonna show you the before and after. I've already got her completely buffed. We've did the mineral spirits, then we buffed it, and she's ready to go. She's had one application of oil and she soaked it up just 
just like she had hadn't put lotion on all week she was dried out from the sun so uh we'll put another application on and i'll show you what makes her look similar to being clear coated but you don't have to clear coat and she she doesn't look cracked and and uh and horrible after about a year the clear coat can look really bad if it doesn't have a good smooth surface to adhere to so let me show you what i do something broke me those days i haven't felt the same again and i don't even know how to try all right so we got the uh car wiped down it's nice out sunny out you can see what it looks like and yes i wiped the hood down that's got a semi flat black finish on it it's basically uh um a kind of like a plastic panel paint that nathan at katie custom finishes did for a satin black look on that glass tech cow hood and i'm gonna walk around and show you now it looks like it's real wet to the touch and right now it is a little bit wet but by tomorrow it'll have penetrated the pores of the metal and gone through and soaked into the paint and you won't have hardly any residue of oil on the car but you can see how good she looks now she looks healthy the the stripes on the roof from the roof rack are popping the original green paint and when the sun hits her she just she glistens and that's how i take care of the patina and look at that shine she has another cool feature when she's got when she's all oiled up she uh the water, the rain just kind of bubbles up like she's waxed. The oil acts kind of like a wax protectant. And that's how you take care of patina that mother nature created and wasn't paid for. And all it took was a high speed buffer, some 3M, some mineral spirits, the 3M Scotch Bright pad and some elbow grease and some Gibbs brand oil. Now you'll go check out Gibbs brand oil. This stuff you can restore aluminum wheels with it. I put it on the wheels before I buff them, and we'll make a video about that when I clean up the wheels and buff them. But I spray them down a night or two before with the Gibbs brand oil, let it penetrate the pores, and then it it's it's a Penetrant oil, but this has so many other uses and it's not like any nasty penetrant oil that you can find. It's amazing stuff But it's great for restoring wheels and wiping down the old thunder wagon I think the girl she needs a name She's kind of rowdy she's kind of crazy So let's give her a good name and if y'all haven't seen under the hood there she is. Big block Chevy. Nitrous outlet. And a uh, little Da Vinci carburetor. Coming to Mexico and no prep races and stuff like that. We're going to do a bunch of match racing with her. Built by HoustonEngine.com. And me. All right. We'll see you later. For me, even talk about it's taking days for me to even sing a word out loud. Something broke in me those days. I haven't felt the same again. Don't even know how to try Singing the song, get 
it out. 